It's Christmas in July. Hey guys, today I thought I'd do a nice summer video with a real Christmas theme. Christmas in July. Uh, today's block of wood we're going to use is uh, about 2 inches by 2 inches and about 10 inches long, give or take a quarter inch. So let's unpack and, uh, and get started. But first things first, I'm not sweating in that thing all day. All right, guys, we got our block of wood here. Like I said, two by two by 10. We have a carving kit here. We got this uh, haversack and the little kit uh, bag from uh, Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman. So thanks, Malcolm. These are great. This is a perfect little carving kit. Love it. So First thing we're gonna do is uh, as always, find center, and we're going to mark center. We want to find out roughly where the, the arms are going to be. So we can take that right around. Like so. And same thing roughly with the head. That way when we're doing this, we can uh, just to gauge what to do because this is going to be more of a, a flowing robe type so now we can go ahead and we can round all these bottom corners off and we know that the arms are going to be in here he's going to be kind of holding his hands are going to hide under his beard like so 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 just for your sake again we'll just uh say this is a, a face hat <laughs> it's pretty good eh and uh arms that are going to hide underneath his beard that shows you absolutely nothing but that's the idea so we're just going to round these corners off here make it kind of a gown like and uh, we'll just kind of take these corners out just to differentiate the head before we take the top off as always safety first wear your glove or bring band-aids I'm going to be using the uh, this is a Helvey knife inch and three quarter rough out knife to start with so I'm just gonna start rounding off these bottom corners kind of making a making a gown type flowy roby kind of whatever you want to call it what do you call it I would call it like more of like a nightgown but I'm sure there's a proper name for it So we're just going to round these corners from the arms down just to give it a round flowing robe like feel. Sometimes when you're doing these long cuts you kind of make little breaks where you see all the wood grain. So either you go the other way like that or just kind of do more of a slicing cut and you won't get that breakage. So when you try to do a long cut like that, you get these little pulls in the in the fibers. So this is a little slicing cut or go the other way. But we're just kind of rounding the bottom off, but we're kind of making a little swale so that the bottom kind of kicks out a bit. I don't know if that shows up at all. Just kind of just from the arms, just a little bit of a little bit of a curve that's like a flowing robe out to the, the feet. basically all the way around well, well this is just the rough forming we'll clean her all up after but just to give the initial shape We've got a pretty good shape to it like I said just kind of round it in the middle flare it out a bit at the bottom then go up about uh, halfway we'll do the bottom of the arms just to just to mark out the arms oh I got my glove off get that glove on those are the times when you're gonna hurt yourself so Halfway up is the bottom of the arm, say. Okay, we'll just do that all the way around. So that's the bottom of the arm. So then we can kind of flow this into the bottom, like that. And then uh, we'll just kind of mark the, uh, the head too, just for reference before we really get removing. So if that's halfway to the bottom, then if this knife is inch and three quarters, so 
Yeah, you've got uh, about two and a quarter inches down is the basically would be the where the neckline meets the the robe. Okay, so we'll do that on all four corners, and uh, we'll come back. This is the front, the face here. The uh, the back of the arm should go up just a just about a quarter inch or so, a little bit of an angle coming up like that. All right. So now we've got our center here. We've got our, our mark here, the neck. Let's just go from center to about a quarter inch in here. Just like that, so. Just like so. So let's remove all this wood back. Just start cutting her off. Okay, we're getting there. Let's take this corner off the front of the face, like so. All right, let's get the back off of this. So let's, uh, if this is uh, this hat, let's go from there, roughly like that, and the Still just rough, but something like that. Okay. So, let's get this face off of here. Let's uh, make another cut here, just to differentiate the nose. So that would be maybe an inch and a quarter down from the top. And we'll just start in a cut here, just to, I want to try and see a face before we go back and do something else. Alright, so. We've lost our, our center line again, but it's not far away. So, if that's center, so that's going to be our nose. Let's just make a nice angled cut away from the nose. Both sides. Let's kind of come across. And pop her out. Let's just round off the back of the head here. We're still not there yet. But. Okay, let's come down. We've got about a quarter inch of a, a reveal on this uh, shoulder. So let's come down another half inch and just kind of round that off. Make a nice, subtle shoulder. Right, and the same, round it off at the back. Just like that, just a, about a half an inch, just to give it a nice little soft shoulder. And just round the back off, all the way across. And just keep cleaning up. When you do it rough like that, just keep cleaning up your cuts as you go. Okay, so that's from the back side. That's the back view. Alright. So let's move down to these, uh, let's separate these arms from the bottom here. Point to point from our previous ones, about a quarter of an inch angle. Let's just take out the bottom. A longer knife would shine on a bigger piece. This is probably the tallest piece 
I've ever done. So I don't really know who whose design this is, but I kind of got the idea from, again, a Mike Shipley book. And uh, he's got a, a Santa like this, but uh, when you start Googling St. Nick and Old World Santas, they all kind of have the same look and feel to them. So now we're going to bring that robe up into the bottom of the uh, the arm here. Like that. Let's see how that comes around. We'll leave the front for now. We'll just do the same thing on this side. So now we've got the uh, the arms in about a quarter inch, you know, just on both sides like that. We got our, our robe kind of flowing into them nicely. Okay, let's uh, scoop out the back of the hat a bit. And yeah, the, he is wearing a, a hat and we're going to have a ball on it. So let's just kind of scoop this out. And let's get the uh, the hat set right now before we go any farther. So what we want to do is just kind of roughly come around here. Hat's going to come be a big drooper. It's going to kind of come like this. So roughly. If that's the center line still, you're gonna kinda you probably almost meet the center line. Drooping back down. Like that. And it it can be a little bit flowy, it doesn't really matter. So let's uh let's get that on there because I wanna leave a little spot here for a, a tassel, if you can see that. So I wanna cut this hat or or just uh, outline this hat where it goes and uh so we can see our face better too. So for that we're just going to stick our knife in there. Come all the way around. All the way around. Okay. Now we can see more with that. I never thought that before, but now I can really see an advantage to a, a longer bladed knife. I thought an inch and three quarter would be oodles for everything, but especially on the, these sides, it would be nice to have a longer blade. that we can see now. Just kind of round off this front edges then. Good. Let's give her a nice clean and out cut. Get your point in there. Same thing on the top. I want the hat on top of the face, if that makes any sense. Bring it into the bottom of the hat. And you want a bit of a reveal for the hat. So. Okay, I'll just clean up these edges. And, uh, Let's leave a little spot here for this guy. So basically all this has to be is a nice deep cut. Like that. I'm just gonna I'll just do a little ball on the end here. Like I said, I like to keep it on a desk or a table. But... Okay. Same thing on top. 
Oh. Deep cut. Okay, let's get these black lines. So now we can pre this up. I'm going to take all these lines a little bit deeper, make that pop out a bit. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you with that. So just follow around, make it nice and round, take all these edges off. And uh, We've got our beard kind of outlined, nice and clean up to the uh, the bottom of the hat, and uh, we got everything all cleaned up. So let's uh, let's draw these hands and arms in, which aren't really hands. What they're going to be is you're going to see basically the cuff of his uh, shirt on each side. And then it's going to be the uh, hands will be hidden behind the beard. I got the beard on a little bit of a sweep. You can see a little bit of a sweep there. So that I can have the hair flowing. So, okay. So let's pop around here. There's your center line again. So let's just give it about uh, so much. This is all guesswork, eh? There's no, there's no right or wrong. And let's just give some arms on there, so. Same thing on this side, kind of across. And then we'll just go at it. I'll just kind of come in, take these off, like that. This is definitely going to be rounded. Okay, stick your knife in there deep. Same this way. Bring her up. Take out that big corner if you can. You have to do it a couple times. Just make sure you don't uh, don't get that knife in there too deep that you make cut lines that you can't hide. So just keep working it down. We're gonna want to. We want these arms to stick out. All right. And then we, from there we're going to smooth it into the body. So, okay, so we got the arms kind of around here. That, now we give them some, we give them a couple wrinkles. That. Okay. Now we got the back here. So the back is just basically same thing, just a couple lines, like that, and we're just going to 
We're just going to cut them down. Like that. Like that. I'm just going to separate the, the back of the arms. Just like that. Okay, I'll just kind of deepen them up a bit. Clean them all up. That's it. It's definitely time for coffee now. Okay, so that's where we are. Just happen to have some shavings here too. Where all these nice wood chips come from. This is the Emberlit Fire Ant. It's kind of the smaller version of their uh, regular Emberlit stove. Get some water boiling and uh, have a nice coffee. Give that a minute to get going. Gonna go. All right, wait for that to boil. Put some oil. Nice. Perfect timing, the fire's going out. We just uh, let that get nice and strong. Very good. Long awaited for. It's a beautiful day too, my goodness. I have tried to do videos for the last couple weekends and we've had just rain upon rain and wind and storms, so nice to have a nice Saturday. Right, I'm gonna drink this and then uh, get back to work. All right. Coffee break is over. Looks like we're gonna have to put up with the uh, lawnmower noise, but uh, let's go up here now. We've got our nose kind of outlined here, so let's make a, an eye line right around there and mark a center on our nose because we're gonna fix our nose up. And we're gonna take out these lines here. All right. Boy, it's getting noisy here. So right off the bat, we're just gonna stick our knife in and follow that line. Give them kind of a an eye an eye line. And we'll just chip that out. Well, three chips. Okay. Get that a little bit deeper. All right. 
right. Make sure it's nice and square. Okay, now we're going to take this nose down a bit and uh, we'll just go on an angle away from the nose, both ways, away from the nose. Okay, let's draw that right up like that. This way, bring it up. There. Now we've got our nose. So we can get that a little bit deeper. Okay. Take the corners off the nose right away. Alright. Now let's take these eye sockets a little bit deeper. Now we've got these lines for our nose. Let's just come right up. Take that right up into that line right dead center above the nose we're gonna take a v-cut out of there just like that now we've separated the eyebrows okay so I really I think I want to deepen this up even more here so just keep let's get that nose sticking out a little bit more mustache. So the mustache is going to come way down here like that. Try and keep it even. So come down. Like so. Okay, and that will give us our, our little coming into our beard on the sides. Something like that. Try and keep them the same. Okay. I'm just going to taper that off down the bottom there. Okay. So once we get that, then we can really cut away into the cheeks. So let's just start this mustache right under the nose. Okay. both ways need that little center cut that we did all the way down same on this side There, we got the top of the mustache. Now let's just bring those beard lines across. Same idea. Across. Yep. Oh. On this side, like that. There. Now we've got the cheek outline, so now we're going to take out this uh, this little corner. We're going to really deepen up this cheekbone and dig out the nose a little bit farther. Same with the nose. That three corner little chip cut again. See that? One. Two, three, same as here. One, two, three. All right, we really we deepen up these little sockets here, bring the nose out a bit more, and uh, yeah, it's coming. 
So we'll just make all these clean up a little bit better. Bring them down, smooth them out. All right, it's coming good. So let's uh, do the same with this mustache. We're gonna get a little, little center line here. And from there, we'll just swing it over. This way. Okay. Chip it out. Mosquitoes. A little bit of a V here. A little uh, snot drip. And now we can dig that nose out even more by undercutting it a bit. And just cutting right up underneath of it. Make it protrude that much more again. See that? We'll just clean all these up on our own time after. Okay, so let's cut a little mouth, a little, another three corner cut, dig her in, and then a little underlip. Take that point off. Just like that. So when you got that like that, it looks like a tongue. It means it's not straight enough of a cut. Just come across. And make more of a hole. It doesn't look like a dog. Okay. Okay. So that's where we're at. We're going to clean up his face a little bit and uh, I'm going to clean up all the beard and then we're going to move to the eyeballs. Okay, on to the eyes. I had to raise that up just a little bit, just a little bit flatter. But uh, basically, this is where I do not shine. We're just going to draw in some eyes. These are not your typical uh, looking eyes. It's kind of a droopy, droopy eye. So I switched to the, the detail knife here. And I'm just going to go across here. Like that. So now I just want to uh, just start kind of doing a little chip. A little chip out of the way. Pop these little corners out on both sides. Like that. Over here. Like that. Make sure you've got that cut in there deep enough. So this Santa Claus, he could be like uh, just as much, he could be a uh, wizard or whatever. But anyway, now we got that line, now we're just going to kind of undercut up to that line. Just leaving a little eyeball in there, see that? That black is throwing it off, but 
Just a little bit of an eye there. Okay, so we can just round that off. Okay, so we got like a little little inset eyeball. Do the same thing on this side. Well, I just had a catastrophic fail when I was just trying to do a little cleanup and I ended up breaking off the uh, eyelid. So, <laughs> we're going to, uh, we're not going to have eyelids. So that's too bad, but it happens. And it's too late to start over. I shaved it off and brought his eyeballs down again. So, basically, we're just going to paint on the eyes like that. No eyelids, and I don't think anyone's the wiser. We're gonna make some eyebrows with the paint too, like that. All right, so it'll be fine, just fine. So that's where we're at. Time for some cuffs and muffs and whatever. So, what we're gonna do with that basically, we're gonna wrap the bat in the bottom, we're gonna go around a good half inch or so. All right. We're gonna take center, roughly, but uh, come down, and we'll kind of swoop this side over, so that this will come into it. So that's gonna be a little bit higher. You'll see when I do it. So it's kind of a little curve off, and this one kind of tucks into it. Now this one here, accounting for that that bit of a beard curve. So this one would be a lot smaller. See that? Because the beard is going this way, so we're going to do that there. And then we're going to do the whole uh, the whole cap. All the way around. It's going to come down like that. And over the top. All right. So to speed things up here, all we're going to do is we're going to go around, follow our line with our knife, and we're just going to make a little V cut. If you have a V tool, you can use a V tool. I'm not going to, I'm just going to keep doing it with my knife. And uh, yeah, we're just going to raise that off, just to highlight that. And this is uh, this can be wavy and all over the place, not not too critical. Bring it around like that. All right. Just like this, all the way around. Like I said, if you got a V tool, go ahead and use it. We want soft edges on both, if you know what I mean. And then as you go around, this is kind of the finishing part, so as you make your way around, just hit everything that you see that you don't, uh, don't like. Take a little edge off the bottom. But yeah, basically just go around, follow all your lines, and uh, cut them out. Okay, so I'll leave you to it. Go around all these little lines, the hat, and uh, I'll meet you back after I'm done. This one here, 
I'll show you this inside corner really quick. See what I mean by this one's gonna overlap. All right, so there we have it. We did all our little uh, our cuffs and uh, all the rims and uh, everything. So that's where we're at. So now we got two choices now. So the beard, I would normally take a V tool or my knife and uh, put the uh, lines in with the V tool. And and the cuffs normally have a, a gouge just to differentiate. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna start out with the beard. Just kind of give it that direction. I'll make sure. Do that. Keep the whole beard going that one way. You certainly don't have to. Straight is just as good. Okay, so we're gonna have some some hair. Side beard is gonna go straight down. Mustache is gonna kind of come down at first, and then then go along. We go down at first, and a little bit of an angle, and then we go along. All right, a more underneath. So then we're going to take that, uh, not sure, what a half inch gouge. Alright, we're going to take that gouge and we're going to uh, just make little, little, little divots all over. Find which way works best for you and then just, just these little scoops, little scoops, just to give it a different uh, texture. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll do everything. Tidy her all up. And uh, I think we're just about done. It's too bad about the uh, the eyeballs. But you know what? It'll be just fine when it's all painted up. So I'll keep going and uh, we'll be back for the finale. All right, I think that's it. Put some water on here. People always ask me again, I said this before, but why do I uh, pour water on? But it just seems to really highlight uh, all the grain and brings out, uh, really brings out the carving. So let's have a look. So there's our man, our eyelidless man. That's okay, that's the only way I used to do it anyway. And uh, a little hat, a little pom pom. That's it. So I'm going to uh, gonna take this fella home. I'll paint him up, and uh, I will meet you again with the uh, Saint Nick 
painted. Oh. Alright guys, home again. Got them all painted up. So, here's your man. Are you going to focus? Focus. 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 There we go. There. Turn around. Like that. So. So there you go. Fun little project. A little more difficult than uh, I thought when I started, but uh, I'm sure you can do it. And uh, why not? Give her a try. And uh, good luck. So I will catch you on the next one. See you guys.